Hey, hey, collective. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in, tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is. Let me cut that light off. Damn, I ain't got no lights on, y'all. What am I going through today? Hold on, y'all. Child, I ain't got light on the first. Just came in and started talking. All right. Hey, collective. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is. I'm your girl, Bucky. And this, of course, is Sip This Tea Throat. Where we're about to tap in with spirit and get the tea on your situation or whatever it is spirit needs for you to know at this time. Collective, all the messages here, they are general, meaning they cannot and will not resonate with each and every one of you guys. So please, only take what resonates with you in your story and leave the rest. Also, anything you need to know about myself or my channel, it will most definitely be in the description box below. And as always, any music that you guys may happen to hear in the background, of course, I do not own any of the rights to that music. It's simply playing for us to vibe out to it. So, collective, if you can hear it, then get your vibe on. All right, y'all. So, we're just going to pull one of the um, spell wisdom cards. See what it is that you guys should be focusing on for the week. Because it's feeling like a... Um, I don't know if somebody trying to make y'all feel bad about y'all's body. Or it, it's a feeling of uh, someone is lacking self-confidence. Someone is in a lack. Again, we're here with this lack mind state collective. What's going on here? But first and foremost, thank y'all so much for being here. All my subscribers, unsubscribers, watchers, likers, commenters, and those who dip in, dip out. Thank y'all so much for your support. Yeah, I see a lot of y'all having a new beginning in love coming as well. I'm hearing a uh, Taurus. Somebody's having a Taurus come toward them. Yeah. But it's very important for somebody here to be real with yourself. Like, see yourself for who you really are. Don't see yourself through the eyes of other people. You see what I'm saying? I just heard loose skin. I battled that myself, so I, I understand that issue, you guys. But at the but see, you gotta look at that. See, that's what I'm saying. Look at that loose skin, whoever this is resonating with is success. Because remember, you fought to get to where you are right now. You lost that weight on your own. That is success, that's progress. Don't let anyone make you feel bad about that. Also, I see a lot of y'all, you keeping like uh, uh, your financial situation on your mind. Spirit is wanting you to rest your mind because whomever I'm speaking to, you're very well protected. And um, all your financial needs, your material needs here on earth will always be met. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's time for some of y'all to come back into like uh, unity, like harmony, harmony with yourselves. Because it's, it's feeling like somebody here is really not liking their body. Like, oh, you look in the mirror, you don't like what you see, things like that. You are beautiful, my love. Yeah. I even see somebody is possibly thinking about getting some type of weight loss surgery or, you know, skin removal or something like that. Spirit wants you to know if that's what's going to make you happy. They support you 100%. If somebody here want to get some kind of cosmetic surgery. But let's just see what you guys should be focusing on. Yeah, somebody speak positive affirmations to yourself because I feel like you're you're damaging your um your self confidence because of something that someone else said. So it's very it's very um important for you to speak positively to yourself. Yeah, we have prosperity and romance, and also we have confidence. You see what I'm saying? So this could have been like, um, maybe this is someone that you were friends with and you know, you have like this romantic interest in this person and you would like things to go further with them. But it's something about the, um, the people that this person is normally attracted to. But see, what I want you to understand is this person is not attracted to a certain type. They're attracted to confidence. And once you start exuding that confidence, then boom. You open that door. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's somebody out here who's also very, very shy. The numbers 23, 32. The number three period is um, three and five. So someone could be 35 years old, 23, 32. These are possibly numbers that whomever this is resonating with is seeing. Yeah. You're making progress here. We have uh, 32 and then we have 33 right here. So, yeah, just keep speaking those positive affirmations to yourself, collective. Don't let anybody's opinion of you get you down. So, let's see what message uh, Spirit has coming through for you guys today. 
Hope everyone is doing well, happy, healthy. Yeah, transmute whatever energy that is because you have that power. And also stop hiding your um yourself from other people. Somebody here like hides themselves. I don't know if this is like you keep yourself in the house or you know you hide your body behind all these like big clothes or something like that because of what someone has said to you. Yeah, this could be like your family, your friends. Maybe you went out to a party and you had on a certain outfit and these people just have a lot of shit to say. Fuck those people. Y'all yeah, feeling like a lot of y'all got people talking behind y'all back too. Yeah, it could be a cancer here. But the thing is, you're moving forward. You're moving forward. Also, some of y'all are going to some type of celebration. Y'all be mindful because there could be like a some kind of um uh, issue where the police get called. Something about a, a fight or um uh, it's some two women fighting over a man or three women. I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's like he ignoring some. I don't know what this is, y'all. Somebody is being ignored and then they about to lash out, it feels like. Yeah. It's like somebody is interested in somebody else, but now they like baby mama or ex-wife or something is watching. And I'm, I don't know if this is you or, you know, this is going to happen around you. But I feel like somebody is going somewhere and it's like somebody is watching them. And it's this person that's watching. You know, this could be an older person. I don't know if they're dealing with a younger person. Y'all take the energy how it resonate. But it's like whomever this is, is following this person. And they gonna, it's not going to be good. I feel like there could be like a, yeah, a fight. Somebody could end up getting hurt here. I'm hearing beat the fuck up. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. Sorry about that. Y'all know Trey got to make his presence now. Yeah. It's like whomever this is. It's like I don't know if you're getting into a relationship with somebody here. And this person is coming out of something, but they haven't, like, fully come out of whatever this is. And this person is entertaining you. I feel like whomever this is, if they still have this um, this possible attachment to, is watching you too. So they could end up in the same spot where y'all are. Oh, I don't know if this person is, like, inviting you to some kind of family get-together or something. I'm hearing moon madness. Yeah, Ace of Cups. This is somebody that you recently met. Water sign, possibly. This is some a new love here. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There is a new beginning here. Yeah, this person could be younger than you with the Page of Cups. Yeah, it could be a Sagittarius as well. But we got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands here. So I'm seeing a beautiful, new, passionate beginning in love here. But there is something very, very... Yeah, with this, Ace of, with this Page of Cups, this is brand new. This is like in the beginning stages of something here. So a lot of y'all, it's like spirit is telling you just be patient. Be patient. Others of y'all, I'm feeling like you were possibly dealing with somebody in the past who acted very immature towards you. This person, you see, we had a page of cups and now we had a king of swords. This person is possibly trying to boss up here to have this, this, this new beginning in love with you. But I'm still feeling like it's somebody on the outside. This could possibly be somebody that they have children with. Also, I'm telling you, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like somebody here, if you going out, don't accept any drinks from anyone. Because I'm feeling like somebody could put something in your drink just to like, you know, give you that dick. Yeah, you could be drinking and smoking with this person. Uh, this is this is going like a. It's like somebody met somebody, and it's like you know they're younger than you. Y'all drinking, y'all smoking, or whatever. Somebody wants this person to be like their man. I don't know if this person is still like running around or something like that. Somebody here could already have a husband and have met somebody new here. Hmm, that's interesting. But I do know that patience and uh, time is needed for whatever this situation is. Yeah, there is conflict. <laughs> Somebody's husband or wife or ex-husband. It's some baby daddy, baby mama. It's somebody here that is watching you in this new love collective. Yeah, it could be an Aries here with the food card. But I'm hearing unexpected changes here. 
So y'all take this energy how it resonates because it's like a lot going on. And some of y'all have new love coming. Some of y'all have a past love coming back that was immature. And now they, they're trying to like boss up. You know, this person couldn't tell the truth to, tell, to say they so. Now they want to tell you the truth all the time. It's a lot of stuff going on out here, Collect. Yeah, Monday. This is for the week. So, yeah, I see somebody. It's a blessing coming towards you. Yeah, fire sign energy. I see, like, I, I saw the nine of cups. So, it's like blessings, like, rushing in towards y'all. Others of y'all have, like, this player energy rushing to, back towards y'all. Yeah, your soulmate. Some of y'all even have people trying to interrupt y'all soulmate connection here. But there's a lot of fire energy here. Because here we got the queen of wands again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have that Leo right there between them. So, a lot of y'all could be dealing with the Leo here. I'm feeling like somebody want to rush back in towards y'all or rush in towards y'all. Yeah, it could be a Pisces here as well with the hangman. But somebody, something is like stuck, stagnate, not like really moving forward here. Let's get into this. Oh, let's get a little more on this situation. What's really going on here? Clarify this. Y'all ain't got, mm -mm, cause it flew way over there. Can I even reach this chat? The five of swords. Somebody here is feeling defeated. So I'm feeling like this person is about to start playing like a shitload of mind games here. It's pretty much to keep you away from somebody or keep somebody away from you. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Possibly this new love who you're sleeping with or, you know, just have this sexual connection with. But it's like feelings are growing and somebody can feel this. Somebody can feel this. It's like they're being very, very manipulative. Somebody is, like, jealous of your new connection here, collective. Yeah. With that five, something is definitely changing. Yeah, look, now we got the three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's like you and this person are starting to work together or, you know, trying to get something off the ground, I'm feeling. But this it's a third party here because, you know, it's three people. In both of these cards. It's a third party here who I'm feeling like don't want this to happen. Yeah, they want to block this out. Somebody here is like... It's a challenge for this person to work with anybody else. Because this third party is always going to be in the mix, I'm feeling. I'm seeing skulls and crossbones. So yeah, this third party is toxic. Now we got the tower. I'm telling you, it's feeling like somebody is really trying to interrupt your new love connection. Somebody here could even be being petty and gossiping about you. I don't even know if you know these people. You possibly could because we got we saw that three of cups. This could be people, you know, that you celebrated with, your family, your friends, you know, shit like that. But it's feeling like this first, these people, this person, whoever it is, they're going back and like trying to make you look like a bad person with this tower card over here to the person that's interested in you. Yeah, air sign, earth sign, fire sign. We have a little bit of water with the Scorpio in the tower as well. We've seen a shitload of fire out here, though. Yeah, and now look, we got the Aries on the bottom of the deck. So some of y'all could be an Aries, dealing with the Aries, or the third party could be an Aries. But I definitely feel like somebody here is just, like, acting foolish. Also here, I don't know what this is, but somebody here, make sure your stove is turned off. Um, the air fire, uh, fryer is unplugged. Things like that. Because I feel like somebody is going to do something very reckless. Like you're not paying attention. I don't know what your attention is on. But I do feel like something could catch on fire. So y'all be, be mindful of that. But I feel like somebody is just going to suddenly try to come in between you and your love situation. Yeah, look, we got the moon card, Cancer, Pisces. Then we got the lovers. And then we got the high priestess. Hmm, Gemini energy. Cancer, Pisces energy. Air, we do have Gemini. And we got Aries, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Pisces as well, if I didn't mention. 
Yeah, I'm feeling like some of y'all, this person hid this, this third party from y'all. They weren't completely honest about the situation from jump. But some of y'all had an inkling that it was somebody else or something else because something wasn't right. Something about time her. Something about the time. Yeah, but some of y'all, I don't know what happened here. It was a tower moment, and then it's like somebody, it's feeling like somebody took their energy back because they were upset. Yeah, somebody here was being very, very stubborn, I'm feeling. But now it's like this person, it's, they want to come back. Somebody here is watching Tarot to see if you're dealing with someone else is, or, you know, take the energy how it resonates with her. Somebody is watching Tarot to see if the other person is dealing with a third party. And it's possibly how you came across this information here. But I do feel like this third party is not completely out of the picture, even if someone is telling you that they are. Yeah, this King of Pentacles, Divine Masculine here, possibly. Yeah, this person right here could be um, being very manipulative. Yeah. Five of Wands. I feel like it's impending conflict here because this information is about to come out and it's going to cause a tower moment because somebody did hide somebody from someone else. Somebody here is very intuitive as well. So you already knew somebody found out through Tarot. Somebody actually got a reading here and that's how they found out. This could even cause somebody, someone could even be getting kicked out of the house or you kick someone out of the house. Hmm. Okay. We saw that um, nine of ones earlier, and now I'm having the moon. Spirit is saying somebody here is hiding an a STD, and that information is about to come out. Yeah, it could be the third party here that's watching y'all. This person here, do, they going to do whatever it takes to keep y'all separated. So if this person does have an STD and you don't know about it, possibly y'all have been hearing that this person had, possibly has an STD in readings. I'm feeling like this third party here... Is about to come out and say, yes, this person, you dealing with somebody, they got such and such and such and such. Yeah, that, that type of shit, just to keep y'all separated. Yeah, it's because this person possibly walked away, and this is somebody that they have children with, possibly. Or they were with this person for a really, really long time. Also, I'm feeling like some past information here. It's really causing a, an issue within whatever relationship this is. <coughs> oh, y'all, excuse me. <coughs> yeah, something that's in the past, it can keep coming up here. And that's why it's, uh, this Five of Swords is here. Because it's like somebody's mind is playing tricks on them. Because the past is keep, uh, it keeps being allowed to come in and affect the, this connection. Present and future. Yeah, three of swords. Somebody can't let this heartbreak go. Whatever happened in the in the past, whether somebody put them in a third party situation, left them for a third party, or you know, just broke their heart in some type of way, somebody cannot let that go and it's affecting this connection. Holy Spirit, anymore. Any more here, I feel like somebody's divine masculine here. Somebody came and told him something about you, seriously. Something about your past. So if this person just all of a sudden, like, disappeared, ghosted, left, you know, they're not acting the same, they're not giving you the time that they used to, it's because somebody else, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing Taurus. Somebody got in this person's ear, but somebody don't want you to know this. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it could be a Libra here as well with the Justice card. Yeah, somebody here has saw that something was like balancing out. I don't, you know, you could have had y'all got back together or something like that. Somebody saw this situation balancing out, and you can't make this shit up. Somebody wanted to ruin it. Look at that, the devil. It's a lot of toxicity in this situation as well. I'm feeling like it, it's like there's balance, then there's toxicity, and then someone leaves, and then there's return, and this is like I don't have the card, but I'm feeling like a cycle here. But yeah, somebody here trying to tarnish your name. They speaking bad on you. Yeah, we got the five of uh swords coming out. It came out sideways. It came out like this. So it's like somebody is kind of believing these people, and that's why they distance themselves from you. But somebody is like in and out of conflict. Do I believe this? Do I not? So somebody really don't know. 
about your past here. But it is causing conflict within this situation. Also, this is like somebody here, they'll let it go and then it'll come back up. Let it go, come back up. So it's like conflict. Past conflict just keep coming back up. It keeps rearing its ugly ass head. And then we got three of swords on the bottom of the deck again. It's feeling like somebody really does need to let their past go. Yeah, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. I'm feeling like somebody loves somebody so much that it's just like... This is a... I'm feeling like this is a toxic situation here. Somebody here loves somebody so much that they don't want somebody to give their love to anyone, anyone else is what I'm feeling. Seriously. But whomever you are, there's keep having, it's like somebody here, what I was speaking to in the past, your mind is paying chicks on you. It's something about your body, your confidence. It's important for you now. Don't listen to these people here. Whomever this group of people is, love on yourself. Because you loving on yourself, you have having inner strength to hold back from these people, possibly a Leo. Also, it's important right now for whomever you are to hold your peace spirit to say it. You've grown a lot. I'm feeling, I don't have it out here, but I'm feeling Empress energy. You've grown a lot. And these people want to take you backwards. Don't let them do it. Somebody here is expecting a baby, I'm feeling too. Somebody has three children. They're expecting a fourth. I don't know if you know this or not. Holy Spirit, give me, give me more. Yeah, but I'm feeling, yeah, somebody expecting a child. We got the happy family here, the Ten of Cups. Somebody here could have also been hiding a family. That's what I'm saying. Somebody was not truthful at the beginning of a relationship. Somebody started something with somebody before they ended something with someone else. And that has a third party upset. This person has a family with this person. Somebody here could also be pregnant with someone's fourth child. Third child, fourth child, something like that. Yeah, what is this? I think it's the Ace of Cups. I think that's what I saw. Y'all, my arm short. I'm going to get it. Yeah, we got the Ace of Cups out here. Somebody went off and started something new while they were still in a family with someone else. And they're not, they haven't been truthful about this. But I do feel like if it hasn't come out, this is about to come out. Yeah, because someone is about to come out and say it. You're going to find out somebody is about to send somebody a message. Either it's a text message, a DM, an inbox, what's that, something. But somebody is going to get this information through some type of social media. It could be through a tarot reading. Whether it be here on YouTube or if someone goes off and pays for it. But someone is about to find out that somebody hid a whole family from them. Yeah. Somebody is about to get communication from somebody, possibly an Aries. Somebody here is like, look, I don't know what's going on. Somebody, it's, somebody made a really impulsive decision, and now they're, it's like something is about to be exposed. Yeah, you could have been um, with this person for like two months, and you don't know that this person has a family. Yeah, look. Heartbreak, three of swords. I feel like this third party is coming at you very, very slowly, but they have this all planned out. They plan on giving you this information. Somebody that somebody you've already, you know this. I don't know if you've heard it or what, but yeah, look, ace of wands. Somebody, it's like you started something with somebody. It's, I feel like it's going to end just as fast as it began. I feel like there is impending heartbreak because somebody's going to find out that somebody already has a family, a girlfriend, a wife, or something like that that they didn't tell you about. And it's going to be time to start over again. Don't indulge in this conflict. This is not, this, you didn't know nothing about this. This person didn't tell you the truth. But I do see that you're about to get this information and it's, it's going to be heartbreaking. But see, it. It starts you, it gives you room for a new beginning here. Yeah. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody could have, this person could have started over without saying something. Wow. Yeah. Somebody, looks. 
Also, some of y'all, if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you are one, Earth sign, Pisces, Taurus, somebody here want to start over with you. Somebody want a marriage. Somebody plan on marrying you. It's just like they want to get this back off the ground. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Brand new beginning, brand new life, brand new everything. Money good, life good, you good. Nothing to worry about here. But as far as this person, whomever you are that this is resonating with, be mindful of this. Yeah, because I feel like somebody's coming through with a message or something, and it's going to be heartbreaking. But it allows you to start over. So again, this is a general reading, you guys. Yeah, somebody here is in that player energy, and that somebody's rushing towards you. This is a general reading, you guys. Please take what on, only what resonates with you and yours. And leave the rest. If it did resonate, I ask that you please like, comment, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. And we will most definitely get back up. Are you done?